Hello, everybody. I'm going to show you my uh, Public Image Limited collection. The first, I'm going to show you an album. This is a VCer from Ithaca, New York. His name is Dominic. He has an excellent channel called Seeking the Thread. Check it out. And he's a musician also, and this is his band, uh, Material Objects. Copy turned up in Omaha, local record store here. And it's, it's pretty amazing. It's kind of sad and dark, but yet it still makes you happy. It definitely has that uh, 60s East Coast sound, which he is from the East Coast. But Yeah, check out his channel, Seeking a Thread. This came in a big collection that came in a shop. Someone must have really needed money, I guess, because they sold a lot of good stuff in there. I would have bought a lot if I had the money. But Anyways, let's start the Public Image Lemon. It's the first album, first issue. This is a Japanese press. It's missing the uh, Obi strip. Here's a reissue of first issue. This comes with a, a record of an hour long interview with John Lydon, plus a couple, or one B side of one of their first singles. Got a couple copies of Public Image Limited, second edition. Found one in Colorado when I was working in Colorado Springs, still sealed. They had a really way too low of a price on it, so I decided to take that home for a backup. But this is the same album that the, their famous, their Metal Box album, which I've had my shot at getting, but regretfully I did not buy it. There's this one, uh, The Flowers of Romance. This is the Four Men with Beards reissue. I bought this, and then shortly after, I found a Japanese press. I never even got to open this one. Kind of hit and miss on this label with sound quality, but I'm fine with all of them. I'm not one of those audiophile guys, so I don't. This is truly bad, but I bought the Miles Davis ones. I, they aren't the best ones, but they're fine. Good enough. This one's still got the OB strip. So, yes, nothing cool on the back. Commercial zone. It's an import. I'm not sure where it, what import this is or where it came from. But 1984, Public Image Limited. Once again, I found a sealed copy, original one. Backup copy. This is a Public Image Limited. Um, this is what you want and this is what you get. This has that love song, their big hit, I believe. Yeah, this is not a love song, it's on here. And found a Japanese pressing. Um, 1986, album by Public Image Limited. Yeah. Alright, now we're getting into the later years. This is an EP for their 2012 album for this record here. This is 2012. I listened to these once, I need to give them another listen. Here we go, later 2015. I like this record, but I don't like the, I don't like that cover. All right, now I'm getting some 12 inch singles. This 12 inch single of uh, Warrior with Happy on the B side and another, and a Warrior instrumental. <laughs> oh no, look who it is. Get out of there. crash my videos, huh? Oh! Here's another copy. 12 inch of Happy. 
we go. Okay, where am I at? Okay. There's a still sealed uh, 12 inch of uh, Disappointed. It's a cool cover. You being goofy again? And here's another 12 inch. I can't remember the songs. You can't really see it. It does say pill on there, but let me see what songs are on here. Quick. Oh, we got Bad Life on the A side and Question Mark on the B side. Quick. See what else I got. Oh, there's a cool record I found. This is a compilation album that was put out actually by a record chain, I think, in Nashville, Tennessee. Check out that cover. It's pretty sweet. But uh, it's from uh, Ernie's Record Mart in Nashville, Tennessee, Abet Records. I thought that was cool, so I took that home. This is crap. Stop. You're a goofball. Oh. Oh, here's it. Do another shout out. We all know who he is, but Derek Higgins, some CDs he's had come out recently. We got the Muse. I think that's sold out, so I don't know why I'm showing that. This is his latest interlude. And we have an album he did with Brian Day. I think he still has some of those, so check that out. He also he's also in a punk band called REF. It's one of the better punk records I've heard in a while, so check out his channel if, if you haven't already seen it. But yeah, he's got some copies of most of that stuff left and grab some. I also want to give a shout out to uh, Pumping Vinyl. He's another local local channel here in Omaha. He started making a lot of videos recently. It's it's a good look. It's a good watch. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.